<laughs> Welcome to the Late Show, everybody. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. <laughs> Folks. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you guys are feeling cheerful tonight because I guess I'm worried. I am so worried about Secretary of State and football coach being forced to teach sex ed, Rex Tillerson. <laughs> Yesterday, was it NBC? NBC News reported Tillerson was on the verge of resigning his position this summer and had openly disparaged President Trump, referring to him as a moron. <laughs> that is, that is. That is, generally speaking, something you say right before you quit. <laughs> hey, boss, can I have five minutes of your time? You moron. <laughs> now, Tillerson's spokesperson vehemently denied he ever said it. He does not use that language to speak about anyone. Okay. How you Hold on. Know he didn't use that language? Because I take the secretary at his word. Okay. She takes him at his word. And what was his word again? Could you address the, the main headline of this story that you called the president a moron? And if not, where do you think these reports are? I'm just, I'm not going to deal with petty stuff like that. Yeah, his word was moron. <laughs> yeah, he vehemently would rather not answer that question. But at the same press conference, he categorically denied he ever considered resigning and talked about his commitment to his job. When I wake up in the morning, my first thoughts are about the safety of our citizens at home and abroad. Then I walk to the bathroom, look in the mirror, and say, hey, there's the guy who works for a moron. <laughs> I should shave him. He's looking a little... Hey, not Jack. Make a change, make a change. Yeah. Apparently, this story stuck in Trump's craw meat because this morning, Trump tweeted, Rex Tillerson never threatened to resign. This is fake news put out by at NBC News. Low news and reporting standards. No verification from me. <laughs> and as you know, oh. as, as you know, nothing's true without verification from me. Obama's birth certificate, totally fake, till I said it wasn't. <laughs> Last year's election, totally rigged until I won it. Then again, what do I know? I'm a verified moron. <laughs> and, and... and administration officials are confident that Tillerson will stay because apparently there's an agreement between Defense Secretary James Mattis, Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin, and Rex Tillerson, whereby all three cabinet secretaries vow to leave in the event that the president makes moves against one of them. Oh, and Trump is known for making moves. Rex, if the president offers to take you furniture shopping, get out of there. <laughs> Just get out of there. <laughs> and take your cat with you. Because he's grabbing it. Media reports... Media reports <laughs> have referred to the agreement as a suicide pact. Oh, that's when you know things are going great at a workplace. <laughs> when people start forming suicide packs. <laughs> They've also agreed that if none of them are with someone by the time they're 70, they'll marry each other. 